Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Mm, you are looking at something that I seldom use to, uh, normally, which is um, Mui Hyung Ham Yi. Salted fish, yeah, a salted fish called Mui Hyung from uh, Kuantan. Now, um, the reason why Apa seldom um, cook anything with salted fish is because my mother-in-law doesn't really take salted fish at all. So, but so, but once a while, I will still cook it. Um, just try to make the size bigger so that she doesn't she doesn't have to uh, eat uh, <coughs> part of it. And the best. Mui Hyung uh, Ham Yi, salted fish is actually coming from the east coast of Malaysia and usually Appa will buy the whole fish um, I always ask my friend every time when she go back Kampong I will get her to buy the whole fish for me I think this is um, I can't remember was this snapper or was this um, senangin it's actually the whole fish and I will buy the whole fish back <coughs> usually I think the whole fish cost probably somewhere around 70 ringgit. Now, <clears throat> why is it you want you will want to buy uh, Mui Hyung salted fish from East Coast? Because they are actually different. As you can see from here, the, the texture is actually still soft. Okay? Unlike the normal salted fish where you actually touch it, it feels like a rock already. But this one is it still has some kind of uh, the water retention inside the fish. The salted fish itself and it, it is super fragrant I would say easily two times or three times more fragrant than the normal salted fish so try to look for Mui Hyung, uh, Mui Hyung salted fish if you can yeah um, if you can't just make use of the normal salted fish then okay <clears throat> uh, and I usually keep my salted fish in the fridge so that it can last forever uh, I mean easily few months um, so what I'm going to do here is actually a very traditional um, dish, a very traditional Chinese dish where we are going to steam pork belly using salted fish. Now only thing is today I'm going to improvise a little bit uh, with two things. Number one, I'm going to put some veggie at the bottom so that uh, this particular dish can come with veggie as well. Number two, I'm going to use some chicken accents. Actually, I'm going to use the chicken accents as a replacement for a chicken stock. Um, I do have some chicken stock here, but not enough. So just to add more, uh, add more uh, chicken stock, I choose to add some um, chicken accents, okay? Now, of course, you will need some julienne ginger. Uh, I'm not sure if you all know how to julienne ginger. Julienne mean cut thin slices. Uh, what we normally do is you will take out your whole uh, ginger here and you will just cut some very thin big slices like that after that you can cut them into thin slices so you have to come from the big chunk cut into big uh, thin slices and then you flip it over cut into slices like this all right just when you cut do it slowly we are not sifu do it slowly, okay, so that you know you won't cut your uh, your hand. Now um, you probably will also realize that my pork belly here is not extremely uh, fatty. It is actually a little bit more lean because my family doesn't really take too fatty. So yeah, it is actually best is if you can choose something between seventy percent meat, thirty percent fat. That would be the best. This is almost like eighty. 80% uh, meat, 20% fat, but still okay, still is going to be taste very good. So first thing first, I need to slice my uh, pork belly and also pan fry the uh, uh, salted fish. Okay, so you will want to use to prepare a very uh, sharp knife. So you, okay, use a very sharp knife here and with very thin surface yeah that's going to help to ease the cutting process now um, if you there's actually several tricks to make the cutting easier but today i didn't really use that tricks uh, one thing you can do is you can actually just blanch it in the water for um for a minute or two uh -huh. 
then take it out it is it's going to be very easy to uh, cut um, secondly you will you, sh you can also cut this meat when it is semi frozen yeah so when it is fully uh, soft like this that is actually the toughest so what you do is of course you uh, do your make your you curve your fingers like this against the side of the meat of your knife sorry okay use your hands uh, fingers knuckles to go against the sorry go against the knife when you cut thin slices it is always not easy to cut uh, soften uh, pork so if you have a very sharp knife that is going to help all right you can have thin slices like this so i'll just finish the rest okay so i have pork i have cut the uh, meat yeah the pork belly into thin slices like this and we need to give it a bit of seasoning a uh, little bit of uh, light soy sauce a little bit of uh, salt saucing wine if you don't take pork you can actually use chicken yeah whoops get okay, about one cup of saucing wine here it's not going to be very watery don't worry because the saucing wine will be absorbed into the meat itself little bit of cornstarch to make it a little bit more smoother okay mix them nicely see you don't you no longer see any more uh, sauce because all the sauce has been absorbed nicely into the meat itself Right. Then the next step would be pan frying my uh, salted fish. Wow, and let this marinate for a while. Okay, so you want to put a bit of oil inside the pan. Then we can pan fry our mui hyung salted fish. This is actually to really bring out the nice flavor of the salted fish itself. And later I may make I may want to make use of some of the oil here to put inside. Yeah, because this is oil, this oil is going to be infused by the nice Mui Hyung fragrance. Mmm. Oh, super fragrant. I hope you can smell this. For those who like the flavor, the aroma from uh, coming out from uh, the coming out from the soda fish, of course. Salted fish is a must when you eat clay pot chicken rice in Malaysia, yeah? This at least for me lah. Ooh, so I'm not going to waste the oil here. I'm going to put in into uh, the steaming plate together later, yeah? So I'm going to pan fry this until it is a little bit golden brown outside then it is uh, done very smoky but the smell is really really amazing i'm telling you okay you don't have to see the whole process i think it's almost, uh, almost uh, done okay this is after about two minutes it is almost done. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the oil here because the oil becomes very black color. <laughs> I'm going to use some garlic oil or onion oil later instead. Okay, done. This is what I want. 
All right, let's start assemble the things, the whole plate together. So I have the Chinese cabbage at the bottom. Optional, yeah, this is optional. Then I'm going to put in my uh, marinated pork on top. Ooh, later the pork fat is going to flavor the broth as well. It's going to be very nice. Okay, you want to uh, place them, try not to let them stack up each other, yeah? Just uh, try to make it one single layer so that when you uh, steam later, it will st the steaming process will be more evenly done. Okay, something like that. After that, I'm going to put in... Uh, The julienne ginger. I always try to uh, make my ginger as thin as possible because I'm going to eat my ginger later. Yeah, later I will finish eating all my ginger. I'm a ginger person. Okay, nice. Next step, I have some uh, chicken stock here. Put in the chicken stock. And this is optional if you want if you have chicken accents because some people told me they cannot find chicken accents in their country then don't use chicken accent just use chicken stock or pork stock okay because many people a chinese new year they have a lot of chicken accent but they don't know how to use it because people doesn't like to drink it directly i'm putting in all this all right Hey, and then my uh, Mui Hyung Ham Yu. Let me give some space. Put it inside. Okay, um, if you want your, your salted fish to really uh, mix nicely with all the meat, everything, you can actually make it, uh, cut it into smaller pieces and put it around. But because my mother-in-law doesn't eat salted fish, so I actually keep the whole size like this. Okay, so um, always be flexible on how to cook because we are not cooking for the customer. We are cooking for our family. All right, so I'm going to do a bit of seasoning here. Where's my salt? I'm going to give it a little bit of salt. Okay, just a pinch of salt. A little bit of uh, sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my Saoxing wine. It's optional for those who doesn't take alcohol. All right, and few dashes of white pepper. Ooh, this is going to taste so good. Mm, let me see. I'll probably add a little bit of water. Okay, because I want to drink the soup later. Just a little bit of water. Okay, done. And uh, let me prepare the steamer. Okay, I think my steamer is ready. Boiling hot. Okay, so we carefully, slowly put in our steamer plate. Uh, just now, I forgot to tell mention that I actually put in one tablespoon of garlic oil here, optional. Okay, if you don't have garlic oil, just put normal oil is okay. Put a bit, give it a bit of oil here. Okay, let me take a picture first. Okay, and then I'm going to close it and let it uh, steam under high heat for approximately 10 minutes. Then it should be done by then. 10 minutes under high heat. We will, uh, or medium high, okay? Uh, depending on your stove. So we will actually come back after this. Okay, the meat has been steaming uh, under high heat. Oh, for the past 10 minutes, my goodness, looks how good it is. And it is so super fragrant. Oh, the ginger smell, the salted fish smell, and the 
pork fatty, yeah. When I have some veggie, I have some broth for me to drink. It's also a one pot dish, perfect for the family, and I love my ginger, yeah. Okay, so I'm just I'm going to off the fire and uh, slowly take it out. Okay, so here's my uh, steam pork with uh, mohyong salted fish. Okay, just give it a bit of a uh, few dashes of light white pepper on top. Okay, it's basically done. Look how beautiful it is. So if you like my video, do share my video on, on my Facebook or on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. And like I mentioned, the chicken essence is optional. If you don't have chicken essence, just use chicken stock. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.